here we are. Once again at the CVV YouTube studio channel. Thanks for joining us, guys. This is the mini sandbar from Eric Oaks. For those of you that have been following We and Civivi for a little while, you know that we, a lot of times, will come out with some surprise models, right? This model, for example, was not shown at the SHOT Show. This was not shown in our new releases. This is the first time you guys are seeing this product. Uh, first time Kyle saw this product is when he came over to the studio today. Coming in today. <laughs> wow, that's a cool knife. <laughs> right? So it's 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 really fun we get to have these surprises um this knife right here is designed by eric oaks who just recently released the curvaceous with us in the wee line so this is a really cool knife um kyle tell me just a little bit about what you thought um as you picked it up for the first time so this is going to be like straight up first impressions right um kind of what i came into is i'm really excited that eric oaks is de designing more stuff for us yeah. like that's super yeah. fun Get cool stuff, and this time it's at a Civivi, right? So, um, you got a recurve right here with a hollow grind, and it's all the same grind right here. It kind of goes into that Tonto-ish esque, if you would, mm -hmm. um, on the blade right there. And then you got the swedge up here, so it, it, you got some really cool aspects of this knife. Um, one thing that I mean that I mean you just found out, this is actually a titanium pocket clip. So that's cool. Absolutely. So this this pocket clip has has been around for a little while in the CVV line, but it kind of went away. Um, and this is the first knife that it's come back on um, in quite a while. But I know that a lot of guys who are collecting CVV knives will pick up older knives like the Wyvern that had this clip, and they'll take those clips and they'll use them on other knives because this is a this is a well loved clip. So I was super excited to see it on here. It is reversible, um, so you can flip that over to the other side. It's drilled on both sides. So great clip on this knife. Um, I love that that blade that you mentioned. Um, you got a lot going on here aesthetically, um, as well as um, you know in the grinds and that. And you, so you've got kind of a unique clip point recurve Tonto Bowie style. Like um, you know, I, I I'm not entirely sure what to call this blade shape. It's a modified recurve Bowie. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I just put modified in front of anything. We don't know what to call it. That works. That works. Um, and that also gives uh, a, a little bit of homage to the name of this knife and where it came from. So when I was talking to Eric about this knife, we, we talked about the name a little bit. And he said, I want to call it the Sandbar uh, because it's got a, a Bowie style blade to it. And those of you who are familiar with the legend of Jim Bowie will understand what that reference means. Um, so I saw, I was, saw the pictures of it and I was like, yeah, I totally like that really works. And then I looked at the specs and I was like, ooh. That's not really like, that's a pretty small knife. A small knife. <laughs> um, you can, my, my medium to large size hands barely fit on the, on that um, handle there. So, you know, guys with bigger hands, uh, you're going to have a, a pinky hanging off of the end right there. There is a lanyard hole in the backspacer right there. So you can attach that on there. But anyway, um, we were talking to Eric about it and, and we said, well, maybe the mini sandbar. And I think that's fitting. Right. So, I mean, you got like a three inch blade. Yeah. So Maybe just a little over three inches. And so, yeah, you're definitely on the smaller side of blades. Absolutely. So if you guys really love this knife and you want a larger version, uh, hit us in the comments and uh, we'll see if we can talk Eric into making a, an actual sandbar for us. There we go. Um, fantastic design here though. Um, love everything about this. It's come, it comes in four different versions. Okay. We've got two with G10 and a satin blade. We've got one with a black micarta and Damascus and a dark green micarta with a black stone wash blade. So they're all really good looking. I, I really like this what, lineup right here. What would be your pick? My pick? I really, really like the satin blade. I think I would go with the natural G10 and the satin on this one. All right. I'd probably do the green micarta. I like micarta. There you go. My card is nice. It gives you some cool little texture to it too. So, To each his own. Yep. We've got a couple other new knives to talk about as well. Before we do that, let's hit the specs and the price on this guy. The mini sandbar has an overall length of 7 inches with a blade length of 2.95 inches. The closed length is 4.02 inches. 
the blade still is Nitro V with the exception of the Damascus blade, which is a blend of 9CR and 10CR steels. And the handle thickness is 0.49 inches. There we have the new mini sandbar from Eric Oaks. This will be available at the end of April, coming in at an MSRP of about, uh, what did I just look at? 91 to 105, 105. just Thank depending you. on your blade, the blade material and or your handle. Yep, there's a couple dollars difference between the G10 and the Micarta, and then the Damascus blade is the more expensive, coming in at 105 MS dollars MSRP. You'll be able to pick these up for dealers um, at a little bit less than that, yeah, ranging sure. between about 77 and $90 or so, right yeah. in that range. So, we've got a new knife, a new version to talk about. This one's been loved by a lot of people. So, I mean, you guys will definitely recognize it once we pull this out. Got new versions of the Paraxis. So, Seth has the really unique one. What would you call yes. it? It's, it's a micarta, but what's what's different? This You're right, um, Kyle. This is really cool, really exciting. This is a coarse micarta that's just a little bit different than the micarta that we've been using on all of our other knives. Um, it's got a, a unique texture to it and a unique look to it. Um, this particular knife is a, a black coarse micarta, and it looks and feels really, really good. Yeah, because there's actually some, like, coarseness to it, right? Right. <laughs> or strange, as the name would say. But it, yeah, there's actually some like feeling to it. So it's kind of like a, it's a rougher feel than your normal micarta. Yeah. And then we also have the kabusha wood. So both two new great scale options on the, one of the loved favorites. One of the beloved classics from CVV, the pr new Praxis versions will also be available at the same time as the mini sandbar at the end of April. So stay tuned for those. Guys, thanks for watching today. Thanks for dropping in, and let's give something away. What are we giving away? I'm excited. Let's uh, let's let the customers decide. Okay, perfect. I love so it. let us know in the comments what you want to get um, from this video. You can have your option of any of these knives. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Leave a comment on this video. Tell us which one you want to win, and we will announce a winner back on this video one week from today. Perfect. That's one week from the day that this video was posted, not from when you're watching it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um, that'll be uh, right around the end of April. Um, you get uh, your chance to get your hands on one of these. Um, good luck on the contest. Um, multiple comments from the same user will be removed as we stick that into the generator. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. Guys, these are fantastic knives. You're going to love them. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day. See ya.